Ah, Noël, les regards illuminés, la fête, et bien entendu, ses contes. Ça me rappelle qu'il faut que je vous raconte une histoire qui m'est arrivée. Oui, si vous suivez un petit peu l'émission, vous saviez bien que j'avais un autre job avant de venir ici. Oui, je bossais aux enfers, c'était moi le tenancier. Et il m'est arrivé une petite histoire que je vais vous raconter. En fait, jusqu'à l'arrivée de deux certaines personnes, on peut considérer que quelque part l'enfer, c'était le paradis. Oui, on se marrait, on s'éclatait, on torturait, on picolait, on faisait des jeux plus débiles les uns que les autres. Bref, c'était probablement ce qu'on ait pu inventer de meilleur club de vacances toutes dimensions confondues. Et puis un jour sont arrivés ces deux jeunes, Lola et Milo. Oh, rien de particulier, vraiment. Même des individus très très quelconques dans cette moyenne d'une société éduquée par le cynisme. Donc je ne me suis pas méfié. Et j'aurais dû, j'aurais vraiment dû, puisque je ne sais par quel hasard ils ont été informés qu'éventuellement, il y avait un moyen de s'échapper du royaume des morts. After Party, bah, c'est toute cette histoire justement où vous allez jouer le rôle des deux protagonistes à tour de rôle et puis euh, vous allez essayer de devoir utiliser euh, ruse, subterfuge et parfois même adresse pour euh, arriver à trouver une solution au fait d'être devenu un esclave des enfers. Oui, comme tout le monde, dans cette situation là, vous aimeriez bien revenir dans le monde des vivants. Pour cela, vous allez devoir explorer, vous allez devoir aussi faire des rencontres et discuter. Et puis, euh, vous allez découvrir qu'en fait, l'enfer est relativement pavé de bonnes intentions en fait. Si on prend garde à ce qu'on dit, et si on joue subtilement des dialogues. Parce que oui, euh, After Party, c'est le jeu suivant de l'équipe qui a fait Oxenfree, et on va retrouver une quantité de dialogues assez massive. Si vous n'êtes pas anglophone, euh, va falloir potasser un petit peu en attendant les sous-titres français, puisque l'essentiel du jeu repose sur ces dialogues qui ne manqueront pas d'être croustillants. Uh, ok, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast. So, and I ran out of the house without my flippers today. So, just. Vous me direz, c'est donc un simple point and click dans lequel on va devoir interagir avec d'autres personnages, rien que du classique. Et là, je vais vous arrêter tout de suite, puisque l'alcool va avoir un grand rôle dans le jeu et euh, il sera même vital pour arriver à vous sortir de certaines situations. C'est-à-dire, à chaque fois que vous allez avoir des dialogues avec des personnages, vous allez avoir généralement deux choix à votre disposition. Ceci dit, euh, pour arriver à vous sortir de certaines situations, ou arriver à faire faire ou faire dire des choses aux différents protagonistes avec lesquels vous discutez, parfois il sera judicieux de vous balader un verre à la main avec un petit cocktail maison qui aura tendance à vous désinhiber vers un style de tenue de dialogue. Ça peut paraître étrange au début, mais en fait tout le jeu va reposer sur la découverte des différents cocktails qui pourront au fil des dialogues, bah, glisser une alternative que vous n'aviez pas forcément vu venir ou que vous souhaitiez. C'est dans ces échanges que le jeu va révéler tout son épice et pas mal de parties très très rigolotes puisque effectivement on retrouvera toujours ce côté un petit peu sarcastique et cynique qui, qui faisait la patte déjà de Oxenfree. Ça veut dire que vos personnages, si vous voulez qu'ils soient mielleux, il y aura moyen de les gérer de manière relativement mielleuse, mais si vous voulez que ce soit de véritables petits démons, ce qui est fort apprécié en enfer, eh ben, il y aura moyen également d'appliquer ces rôles-là. Il y aura également d'autres activités un petit peu plus physiques que je vous laisse découvrir pendant votre propre exploration et certains moments d'anthologie, on peut le dire. Un jeu parfait 
mmh, Certainement pas, puisque After Party se traînera quand même un lourd défaut, et malgré le fait de vous balader à gauche à droite dans différents endroits, restera d'une redoutable linéarité. Alors heureusement, tout ce que vous aurez à l'écran euh, sera probablement suffisant à vous motiver à avancer plus loin, mais c'est vrai qu'on aurait aimé quand même une aventure qui euh, parte dans plusieurs directions, histoire de vraiment se sentir paumé, et de devoir faire bah, un petit peu n'importe quoi comme dans les vieux LucasArts on va dire. Le cadre étant posé, euh, je vous laisse regarder quelques morceaux du début de l'histoire et vous allez enfin découvrir ce que réserve ce after party de l'au-delà. Well, this is it. Our journey has come to its end. Our lives, as we know them, are over. What? Golly, we're adults now! <laughs> no, 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 seriously though. I just wanted to say thanks for coming out, fellow breathers. We are officially college graduates. So congrats, monkeys. There's beer in the pool, uh, condoms in the fridge. And if you can't be careful, there's a clinic like three blocks down. They'll do you cheap if you give them our promo code. Okay, we came, we saw. If we leave now, we can still make the donut place. Let's go before Hello, we get recognized. Hello. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, Allison. Can you believe we graduated? And what better way to end school than with an indigenous late century style mixer coupled with property damage and substance abuse? Well. Oh, I love that, that y your outfit, Lola. I don't know. This is sort of lame, right? How fun can a party be if controllers aren't involved? Ugh, I know. I'm so glad I was born after video games were invented. They're like Skinner boxes. Only if the mice paid with their time and currency to be trapped in the chambers, you know? Who wants to get drunk? Let's get a drink! Like, right now! Come on, the table's right... It's here! Oh, whatever speeds this process up. Oh, and I'm sorry. This is my cousin, Katie. She's gonna be starting here in the fall. Hey. I was just telling her about you guys, how you've been friends forever, like a weirdly long time. Everyone always thinks you're dating. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, never, ever, ever. I know now, but ever. Why would they, why would they think that? Think that you're screwing? <laughs> I mean, somebody has to fuck the next generation of internet stars into existence. Let's drink, come on, they have them right over here. Are we getting that drink, Milo? Hi, is this? Is this where the, uh, the ales are? It's all $2 vodka mixed with $3 lemonade. Want one? Yes, please. Milo? Lola? Uh, it really helps pave over those awkward beats in the conversation. You could almost say it literally gives you more options in life. It's evolutionary, you know? I read somewhere that monkey humans invented alcohol. Uh, wouldn't it be kind of the exact opposite since, you know, drinking actively damages neurotransmitters? So does playing professional football, and those guys marry supermodels, okay? Do brain scientists marry supermodels? Case closed, hung jury. Yeah, so, do you guys want one? They're getting warm. Do yeah, sure, why not? Okay, fine. I, uh, always take one if he does, and vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk we're getting. <laughs> Attention, all skin bags who now have to pay taxes. Please make your way to the dance floor. It's time to shake. <laughs> okay, really quick, give Katie meaningful life advice about higher learning. Mine was don't major in philosophy, law, any form of medicine, or theology, because those are all career suicide. Oh, and don't buy your books from the campus store. You don't want the clerk there knowing your pin number. Uh, generally just try not to... Uh... Yeah, that's good, thanks. Keep in touch. Allison Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. Like, why would anyone think we're... I was just as confused as you were. No, it's fine. Allison's just an idiot. Can't wait to read her posts about her summer vacay. <laughs> Drinking pina coladas out of some cruise boat magician's navel. She seemed fine. She was just, you know, happy to be done with this, I guess. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna let that be the last meaningful conversation you ever have at school. No, if you want to go, we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're leaving. This is us just saying bye to some folks on our way out the door. So pick whoever looks the least stupid and make this quick. <laughs> you crack me up. Want a cup? They're not going anywhere. Yeah, thanks.
If you're wondering, I pulled the short straw, so that's why I'm the bartender. Great, that's... yeah, thanks. No, 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 no. When, when the guy was all, not today, and then the smoking hot chick was all, uh... Right? And those effects! Oh, I couldn't even tell those weren't... <gasps> and the score? Oh, if he doesn't get his Oscar... Yeah. What about that ending? What ending? Uh, wait. What? What, what are we talking about? Sorry. This is Lola. I'm Milo. I think I... Didn't we have the same advanced frisbee class in... Yeah, no, I remember. He's the one who had his wisdom teeth removed and then threw up all over the admissions director. Oh, yeah! That... it wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, that... that story just didn't go away, did it? Talk about a bad second day. Sigma Kappa gave you a nickname, right? Herpaderp? Chunkamunk. Or was it Colonel Shitlips? Well, it was nice catching up. Have a good summer. See ya. That... Okay, I know that could have gone better. Shit lips. I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dickbags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should know how to make adult friends by now. You just make it so much harder than it has to be. Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You, you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's... I, I want to see how easy it is. Let's... let's see. Hey, if that's what you want. My trick is just remembering that everybody's born screaming in terror. Whatever it takes, go forth and show me how it's done. I'm not thinking of dancing. I just want to stand here and watch for three seconds. <sighs> okay, noted. Hey, Billy, can you can you do me a favor and change the music up a little? I I can't actually. They only made one song for the DJ. What does that mean? I mean, yeah, sure thing. Just after this one's done. Like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is, is just the dream your unconscious body is having? No, totally. And like, what we think of as money? Huh, interesting concept. Did you take Mrs. Vasquez's class on Cartesian dualism, or are you just spitballing? Uh, who are you? I'm Lola. This is... Colonel Shitlips. We know. Oh, come on. I... that was... Lola, was it? Are you a friend of Captain Pukemouth, or... Tony, auditing the school? Thinking of transferring here, maybe? Yeah, it's fine. I get it. Everybody blends together. Like you, right? <laughs> I don't remember you specifically, just like everyone else that's exactly like you. <laughs> okay, well, good to see you guys. Um, <clears throat> keep it, keep it up. Oh, bye, Chin Flaps. Bye, Nola. Milo, you wanted to mingle. Why are you sheepdogging me? Lola, they don't even remember you. And the only reason they remember me is because I pooped out of my mouth once. I mean, how sad is this? We went to the school. These are our peers. Who cares what any of these people think about us? We graduated, remember? We are done with these idiots. Lola. College was a non-stop, inescapable popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary world. You think anyone in society is gonna care what they called you in college? What's gonna be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you did in the actual real world. And the real world starts right fucking now. Everyone, hairy people, your attention please. Stop the awesome music! Is someone named Milo and Lola here? Actually, this is... That's probably two separate people. Uh, yeah. What... what is... Milo, Lola, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but both your parents were just run over by a train. What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. Milo, come on, they're just fucking with you. Huh? I'm so happy it's Friday, right? Thank God I don't have to do my kegels. Uh, holy, holy shit. Uh, are, are you? Oh, oh, uh, do you? Are you? Is what's happening to you okay? Or? Lola, I... what? Is this a...
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. They, 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 they still think they're alive. They think they're alive. <laughs> what? I, what is? Okay, what the fuck is going on? You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You want to know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell is going on in here? Mr. Metamantis, we were just assisting in the transition between... I don't between... want to hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, Lola, you're late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road. And you better double time it if you want to get in before close. Uh, late for what? The wildly expensive costume ball everyone is apparently going to? Sorry to break this to you, but I'm not a parade float. What? What? You died. Died? Ten minutes ago. I'd head to the process station now if I were you. What the... I... Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go get processed. I... <laughs> and the rest of you? Put all this crap away. Some evil nuns are dying in a bus crash tomorrow. So, I want this place spotless. Hey, I got tickets to the 19 Black Sox fighting a pack of wolves tonight. I can't really be doing overtime. The wolves have Toy Cobb, asshole. Remember when Alpha Phi said you want a date with Jessica Rabbit? Yeah, they spiked my coffee with LSD and I made out with a rose bush. But this isn't a prank, Lola. Nobody put VR lenses in our contacts. This is really happening. Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. I can't even remember, like, when did we go to that party? Was there a party? How did we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? What? Why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We, we had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. Yeah, this feels like wine and sushi wrong. We should... We should, uh... Ask the processing station guy. Hopefully it's a person. And not like an automated ATM. Uh, I just can't believe this is happening! Hell cannot be real. It just... It doesn't make any sense! It's cheating! The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen! Hey, don't look at me! I held out hope for something after the blimp explosion I planned on dying in. Just... this is wrong. Way wrong. And, and, and there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And... and, and we'll... we'll get this... they'll fix it. It'll get fixed. We're... we'll be fine. Sure. You, you kind of paused there before you said sure, do you? You know that? It kind of makes it sound a hey, little... Hey, hey, either uh, one of you guys, you Jimmy Bolanger? It. James Whitney Bolanger? No, neither of us are whoever you're talking about, so don't, like, hurt us, please. Wrong vocation, but don't worry, I'm not too insulted. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. Hey kids, hey, you wanna buy rug? Listen, I got dodecahedrons, punch bowls, uh, uh, toilet covers with St. Michael's face on them. Sorry, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll come back later. Yeah, they all say that. Okay, Marcy Sullivan, Marcy Sullivan. Oh, yes, here, here. 
Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much. Take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now. Lola. Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Uh, present. Ah, oh, you still have your mouth. Great. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Anybody know this guy? Uh, sorry, but uh, what? what is all this for? Please hold all stupid questions and dumb comments till after this part so I don't have to deal with it. Thank you. This... Okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving right along. Is there an Abby here? Table two. Okay, that's... This must be us. You know, it's funny. I... I'm kind of... I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just... I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. Oh my god, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead. And we are in hell. How oh, is this not hitting me before? We are in hell and we are dead. Yeah, I know. It's. There doesn't seem to be any bright sides here. Right? Hi, guys. I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which uh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we, there has, there's been a mistake. We don't, we don't even know why or how we died, so. Yeah, you know how when you're a kid, you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. Phone numbers, the smell of your mother's hair. But, but I can remember Lola. I can remember my parents, what I wanted to do after school. Then that and ten other things are the stuff you cared about when you were alive. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies, okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder suicides and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Okay, cool. All right, Lola, which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Uh, okay, even though I'm sure this is a trap, the exec running shit. I would have guessed that one for you. Ooh, I would have. That's so funny. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <laughs> oh. Come the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean... <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Good hand-eye coordination. I'll put you down as functioning mammal. <laughs> Lightning oh. round! This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring! Uh, phone? Lola, drugs! Yes, please? Milo, crowds! Joy? Milo, I mean, Lola, break! Like taking a break? Ho, ho, ho! What could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola, 
What? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow, the sultan of revulsion, the drain on your brain, that pebble in your shoe you just can't get out! I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you, with anyone, really. It's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team, a real partnership. I want you to know that, oh crap, there's two of you? I, I'm so sorry, little lady, I didn't see you there. But, uh... Oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunkmates. You're hungry, I'm hungry, yeah, hi. Oh, hi! Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados, what does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free-range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that. Her torture? I, I thought... Doesn't hell just, like, generically suck? Yeah, I didn't know there were seat assignments. I would think it an apparentness that cannibals and canoe tippers shouldn't get the same treatment. But yes, you all get different shit that happens to you. Abigail Cunningham? Yes? Your bones will be broken every day by a ball-peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. What? She wasn't even that bad. Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I... We just did this like two minutes ago. Milo, this is it. This is, we gotta get out of here. Well, uh, what the hell do you think we can even? Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tether ball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we, we only rob Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun. See you later. I'm going to get drunk. Wait, um... What is... What's our thing gonna be? Our, our torture? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but... But what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. Huh? The guy got another... ride? You like his... his friend? I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh, it's... I'm... I'm being mean. Okay. I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Phlegius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a... I'm a cab driver. A ferryman, to be, uh, specific. Oh, a psychopomp. What would hell need cab drivers for? I don't know how aware you are of the infrastructure here, but I just fell through the floor into a phantasmagorium. Ooh, yeah, no, uh, that, that'll happen. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. 
You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first an Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? Again, the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh... Hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. Ah, oh, here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably your end. Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead, you're in hell, it's bewildering, I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell and provides fairy women like me a job. Uh, islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big landmass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles, the, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during Punch-In. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract, the abyss, the outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story, longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight, we're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so. And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Play at the shore? How young do you think we are? Look, until you turn 200, you should require a car seat. Your brain's basically a litter box a cat died in. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first an izzard. Hey, hey, Sam, Sam! What? Did you, did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Anyways, like I was saying, this is first an Izzard. There's a lot of cultural stereotypes about these people, and none of them are especially flattering. A lot of sweat and hair. A wet hayride is a euphemism for sex here. First an Izzard? Why is it called first an Izzard? How the hell am I supposed to know? Why is New York called New York? It's named after the Duke of York. Oh, thanks, Brainiac. Why don't you lecture us on what a rhetorical question is next? Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all those kittens. We didn't drown any kittens, okay? I would never do that. Yeah, you're pretty allergic. Um, what are you guys eating? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. I warned you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah, he's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okey smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Is Fornius like a, a, um, a demon drinking buddy or something? He's a middle manager in the fifth circle. Sometimes he makes requests, you know, specific souls for his department. I think some tech startup guy had a heart attack sport hunting homeless people in Portugal, so maybe it's that. So, 
Whenever you're ready. You, um, okay? Yeah, I think he's taking a time out. Here goes nothing. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill, how the heck fire are you? Hey, Forney, perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. <laughs> We're not kids, all right? I got a savings account and everything. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. What, uh, what's the problem? Look, we, we didn't want to get into it earlier, but we, we actually want to try and get home if, uh, if that's... Okay, yeah, all right, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we, we can get into it in a bit. Just, uh, just follow me, okay? Uh, uh, all right. Fornius! With one F, and we're just going upstairs to a Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me, bartender, do you have, like, uh, a menu? Or... Okay, okay, give me a second, miss. A woman ordered a bitter lemon drop, and I'm trying to remember if I got any eggs. Come back in a minute. Whatever. Let's just go upstairs with Sam, Lola. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. You don't even know our names. How do you know we're not on the list? I'm looking at you. That's more than enough information. Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> Hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, get him to invite us up. Get him to invite us up, yes. Let's get a drink. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. Excuse me, barkeep. We would like a... Uh... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? I don't know what young people are into nowadays. It's not the... the worst place I've been to. That gas station off of Fremont? Oh, still, you know... I mean, I don't know about you, Milo, but I've seen scarier versions of hell and tales from the crypt. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's scary. I'm scared. I don't... Nobody take it as a challenge. She's Lola. I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to... Wait, 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 wait. You're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me. Come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here... Um, sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. Wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't 2%. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fu- What the 
the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I I'm not, uh, Jim Jum. Yeah, sure you are. Jim Jum. <laughs> Why, I even called you, you last, I... Uh, buddy, we don't know any Jim Jum, okay? You got the wrong guy. Remember that, that dance man when you scored all those points in the, uh, the, the wheelbarrow? What? Come on, guys. This is a prime opportunity here to really utilize your drunken spirit. You got a brass bull in you, so use it. You remember... That's Milo. He... this is not... he's Are not... Are you still working at the House of Knives? Yeah, that hostess with the, uh... <laughs> she's down to party, right? Oh, for Lucifer's sake. Will you tell this moron to fuck off? What was that? What's your name? Hey, dickhead! Get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Oh, Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. Ted, Ted, Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should. We're missing our chance. We should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. Um, yeah, but we should probably get a drink first. Don't have to twist my arm. Uh, barkeep? What's, uh, on the menu this tomorrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. Uh, the Great Amathian sounds pretty cool. A Great Amathian. All right. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Most people. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs and brownie. The nicer ones, anyway. I don't know why, but it makes this somehow even more depressing. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... T How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a uh, squirrel trying to... Trying to. Oh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, two grave robbers. What kind of whiskey? Well, if I knew I would get the third degree, I wouldn't have even bothered. What can I get you? Make me a famous last words. Hey, uh, guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real disturbance. No, I mean, the help with whatever your thing is. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not going to get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. How could I not take it seriously? Hey, is this asshole giving you shit? Am I the asshole or is he the asshole? That, that remains to be seen, asshole. Don't worry about Danny, okay? He's just a little steam because he found out his favorite stuffed animal from childhood. Georgie! <laughs> right, Georgie. The talking platypus. Well, he could only talk because I was possessing it all the time. 
And you don't think that's a betrayal? It was a joke. Uh, if you were me, and you aren't because you're a bit of a wimp, but if you were me, you'd quit yapping and just sock the son of a bitch. Hey, it was a goof. It wasn't a goof to me, dickwad. Hey, if I have to warn you one more time. I'm sitting. I'm sitting. I got sent to an institution because no one would believe me. I still can't take a piss without carrying a sport for protection. Okay, okay, calm down. I don't want the bouncer taking any of my good organs. And anyways, you asked me to staple your baby sister's feet to the hey, floor. don't let this little ass face call your shots, Danny. If you want drama, make the damn drama. He fucked up your whole life. That's it, you giant sack of shit! You're gonna regret making me love you! I mean, th drowning that farmer's kid! You'll never make me regret that. Hey, guess what, guys? You won. Wanna know what you win? No. Ten years in the throat cutter, and it hasn't been washed in centuries. But it'll be <laughs> dirty. Hey, Van Dyke. Where's uh, the nearest singles bar? Hey, my plan worked. The bouncer left. Let's head upstairs, talk to Sam before he comes back. This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. Never caught, though. Uh, not that this isn't probably obvious, but what's a death? A death day? Yeah, words can be confusing. This is Tommy's first year in hell. We like to kind of go full helicopter mom for the paper anniversary. Don't ask me why. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Forney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? Milo here almost started a bar fight, and the bouncer left his post. Is there anything but wrong lessons to take from that? Wow, I'm impressed. Phil got involved and you still have your feet? Someone up there doesn't mind you. Hey! Cool. Okay. I, I, uh, I... Yeah, you obviously died jet skiing with, with supermodels. I, we can see that now. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins and God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Okay, but why are you telling us this? I feel like I'm talking to my uncle about how great Brooklyn used to be. I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like, done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay, um... But you're saying the only way out of hell is out-drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out-party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo, 
Welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. Yo, yo, I'm Baronar. And I'm Peyton. And together, we're Black House. And we're here with a new single off our mixtape. Not literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get with a download code if you follow us on Bicker. It's called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. Excuse me, sorry. Don't mean to interrupt this thing. Excuse me. What is this? Who are you? We're in the middle of an audition. If you can't already tell, and I doubt very much that Black House appreciates the intrusion. Which one of you is? Oh, no? Um, yeah. Don't look so shocked. It's not like anyone else down here is worth talking to. Down here as in this basement, or down here as in my hell? Yes. Now, church my scurry and you're in a hurry, so get out. Ha, uh, oh, don't mind him, kids. Little Chattanooga choo choos. Valak couldn't find the right spoon for his cereal this morning, so now he's a little ill tempered. They don't have. An, there's no meeting scheduled. Okay, just hit the pause button, okay? Give us a break here. You'd give a fucking rock a headache. <sighs> Fine. We'll continue this shortly. But House, thank you. I'm Ono Skellis. Some folks call me Ono. That's my auxiliary, Valak. He girds and guards my affairs. I prefer the term executive peon, but... And you are wanting to speak to me about buying Girl Scout cookies? Is it even the right season for that? Look, oh no, Linda has been going through kind of a, a rough time with uh, Jupiter being in pretendo grade. <laughs> so we're going to take her out, you know, on the town, show her, show her a good time. The last time anyone took out Linda, she was living in a 14-acre mansion in Beverly Hills. She... Now, what is this really about? Come on, my stopwatch is running. You want to take Linda out tonight? Why do you want to take Linda out tonight? Speak quickly now. Linda really wants to see her old band Mercury Worm at Satan's house tonight. So, you need to take Linda out tonight so she can see her old rusted coat of arms Mercury Worm at Lucifer's shindig. And your father's label maker said what on your toy chests? Milo and Lola. Milo and Lola. Valak, how many years left on Linda's term sheet? Roughly 10,000 years. Linda got a discount for time served when she lived in San Antonio that summer. Okay, sold. She can have the night off. Yeah. But you'll have to find a loner. Uh, yeah? A replacement act. We can't be understaffed. Hey. Whatever you want, Praying Mantis Face, your wish is my command. Just find a musician. And don't just go and get any waterlogged corpse that's not at home watching TV, okay? No, definitely not these. It'll be, uh, top shelf. I should... I'll cryptically add this. Think about the risk here, potentially, before you zip off to Never Never Land and fetch some Sarcoline crooner. What risk? The first word a human being ever said was property. I should know. I was there at it. I've bought souls for a baby's breath, and I've bought souls for a ham sandwich. The only difference was the stuff they thought they were getting in return. And for someone like Linda, who's so dog-shaking desperate to get out of a contract, that she'd send two souls who ain't been dead not 17 minutes to bargain with me? Well, I think the plan deserves scrutiny is all. Maybe check it for ticks before you scamper off on the songbird's behalf. Don't let her sell you out, kids. I see bad contracts signed every day. Well, what the fuck did she mean by that? 
I only understood like half the damn words. Sarkaline crooner? Uh, I think she's saying that Linda could stab us in the back or something, or maybe like trick us into switching places with her. No, she wouldn't do that, right? You don't know what Linda Landon is capable of, children. But don't lose your concentration now. Ono requires a replacement performance if you want her freed up for the party. And don't even daydream about returning until you do. All right. Uh, book them for the eighth. Oh, no, the seventh. We, uh, we found people to, uh, to play tonight. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, Black House? Yo, 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 it's Black House in the house. Oh, Lord, not again. Thanks for the encore. Yo, yo. Oh, come on, they'll be fine. They had their practice runs, and now they're ready for the big show, right, guys? Yo, yo, yo! Yeah, you don't have to answer that. They're ready. We're ready. Yeah, I don't know about this. Maybe with some, uh, taxi dancers. I mean, this, it, it needs some elasticity to it. Dancers. This isn't Studio 54. I wish it was Studio 54. If you can't sing, Valak, you dance. If you can't dance, you set things on fire. That's the rule of rock and roll. And no one is gonna watch obscenity peddlers rap like their brains are on strike unless things are humping each other in the background while they do it. So, Milo and Lola, wanna stand in for me? Wait, what, what, what's happening right now? You're gonna dance while your chosen artists perform. But just Shadow Valak, he'll show you what to do. I just need to see it in a group, you know? Of course, you couldn't have asked me to do this when I was still jogging. Valak here has been wanting to dance on the Buddy Dean's show since he was in Pigtails. He choreographs most of the numbers that come through here. Buddy Dean couldn't handle me, honey. You two, it'll be easy. Just follow the moves as I go along. And don't deviate. Hey, all right. I've been looking for an excuse to show off my, uh, my moves, you know? Yes, your moves. It'll be all right, Milo. Just like the, the, the talent show we talked about. You in sixth grade? Oh, you mean the one you couldn't even say anything about because you were so embarrassed by the memory of it. Wait, 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 wait! Don't start the show without me! I always love live dancing. Are you guys gonna show Bush, or is it just tits up? Oh my god, will you fuck off, Wormhorn? We don't need this shit right now. Are you sure you want to do this? Lola's right! I mean, Milo, do you really remember the sixth grade talent show? That didn't turn out so well, did it? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Lil Chad Leckler beat you up so bad you had to take off school. Wait, Milo, you said you got the flu. Honestly, he was throwing up so much, it's not that big of a lie. Lola, I'm sorry, Wormhorn's right. I can't do this. You should take the lead here. I'll just, uh, tap my foot behind you. Wait, don't listen to it, Milo. It's not... It's simple. Just move like I move. Whatever, guys. Come on. My bones are falling asleep here. Let's uh, get this show on the freeway. Play the music. Yo, 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 yo. Turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah. yeah turn up the bass a little. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna come in. That's the shit. Turn it down, actually. Turn around the base a little bit. It's good. Bad. It's more fun for me. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Got it. Okay, whatever. There we go. Yeah. Turn the groove here. Yeah. Oh, but you're like, does not. Give me a little, a little lick here. Is that right? That was right. Ugh. Okay. Turn up the vocals a little bit. Turn, turn up the vocals. <laughs> Place. Okay, yeah, there we go. I can't hear myself. I, okay, yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, yo, yo, I got the first verse. It's pretty good. Bad. It's more fun for me. You got the first verse. Okay, whatever. Yeah, keep it. There Turn we down go. the vocals yeah. now. <laughs> Okay. 
My name is... Oh, the track's over. We did it. Yeah. Oof. I knew I should have stopped playing basketball at the Y. Very nice. I can... I can see it. I really can. With professionals, it'll really distract from the horrifying music. Yo, yo, yo! Thank you, dog! She wasn't talking about you. Oh, well, Miss Ona, what... what did you think? Better than I expected. Uh, what? That's it? They sucked! Oh, God. Whatever. Now that that bit of unpleasantness is in our rear view... I'll let you unfurl the banners. Tell Linda she's free for the evening. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Valak will riddle out the details. I imagine you'll be going to Morning Stars now. Uh, Satan's, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, to try to outdrink him, get back home. Do you think you'll be able to do it? The two of you. Even if I had uh, misgivings, we have to try. It's the only way out we've heard of uh, so far. Lucifer was the first rock star. You know, before Liz, before Paganini, before that caveman that played a dinosaur's rib cage like a xylophone. It was him. And notoriety makes you forget things. Responsibilities to yourself and others. And look, he has bigger things to worry about tonight than a drinking contest. Yeah, no, sorry, oh no, but we can't really be expected to care about Lucifer's personal problems, whatever they may be. It's just, every human creature carries microscopic mites. Mites that live full, hectic, provocative lives. They fall in love, have children, die, tragically. And I say this not to make you itch. I say this so that when you see rock stars and movie stars and people with jets, when you meet Satan, remember that you are all planets. Responsible for a billion souls. And so is he. And what else could be more important than that? Say hi to Linda for me. We'll be in touch.